In part two of a GMG color managed workflow for packaging, we'll use the GMG color plugin to improve the printability of our images. In the previous video, part one, we dropped this file into a GMG color server hot folder. This hot folder normalized RGB and CMYK to Grackle. It then color corrected all images in vector, so when it's printed on my Flexo press, it looks as close to Grackle as possible. And lastly, it converted the Pantone green color to the best CMYK recipe for my Flexo press. In some cases, this may be ready for plates. However, I'm going to spend another minute or two and use the GMG color plugin to remove channels from potential problem areas, as well as look for and adjust any areas in my images that have less than 2% in them. Interesting to know, but not a requirement for this job. If I needed to, I could use the GMG color plugin to easily convert this image from CMYK to a custom process, such as black, cyan, and these two spot colors. Once converted, Photoshop doesn't do a good job of showing a color accurate preview. For that, we can use Open Color Preview. Open Color Preview accurately shows you on screen what the job will look like when printed on this particular Flexo press using these inks, including the substrate color. Since these images are actually going to be printed CMYK, I'll undo this conversion and get to work removing channels and adjusting the minimum dot. Now that my image is back in CMYK, let's take a look at the cyan channel. We see that there's some cyan in the mango that would be good to remove. Let's make a quick selection of the mango and use channel remover to remove cyan. No more cyan. We also have some magenta in the leaf that should be removed. I'll select the inverse and remove magenta. No more magenta. In flexo printing, we also need to consider our minimum printable dot. Let's take a look here and see if there are any dots under 2%. There are. With the GMG Color Plugins Minimum Dot Adjust tool, I can choose to set or remove these. Let's turn that preview on again and make sure they're gone. Looks good. So there you go converting four color to custom separations, removing channels, and adjusting the minimum dot, all done in a few minutes using the GMG Color plugin with connection to GMG Open Color. Now that this image is cleaned up, all I need to do is repeat the process in the other images and we'll be ready to make plates. For more information, visit www.gmgcolor.com.